So, in the last episode of Talking, you seen me unbox and review the Ninebot Go Kart Pro. And that thing was a blast. And I can't wait to do it again in this one. But today we'll be talking about the range and the durability. So we're going to push this thing to the limits and see what it does. Let's get right into it. Alright, so here it is. And as you can see, I've got everything attached to it and we're ready to go out. It's really wet out there. It's been raining for the last few <laughs> I don't know, five or six days, something like that, straight. Um, and let's push this thing to the limits by drifting it through the rain, having some fun. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna see how well the brakes do in the wet, which obviously they would probably lock up is what my thought is, but let's see. Yeah, they slightly locked up, but that would be really fun for like some power slides or something if you wanted to. Let's try that real quick. Oh, yes, it actually does work. Oh, <laughs> you get water everywhere, but it's completely fine. It's 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 a good go kart. Now another thing I want to talk about is obviously the range, as I said in the start of the video. And what I usually do in the mornings, I come out here at the front of my place and I just zoom up and down. And yeah, like I get a good, I'm on 46% battery right now. Um, but later on the video, we'll go for a full battery charge and until it's dead, we'll just ride and ride and see how many kilometers we get out of it from flooring it and just going hard on it. So now it's time to put it through a real brutal test. All right. Oh my god, it's... This thing really just drifts. Wow, it's just so fun. Okay, I think we've given it enough of a beating today, so let's get on with the range test. Okay, so it is the next day, and we have officially got full battery. I don't know if you can see that, but we're about to do the range test, and unfortunately, it's not raining anymore, so we can't really drift. There is a few little puddles, but I don't know. Let's just do the range test. So right now we are on 100% battery and surprisingly the water is still up here and um, I guess we're gonna, gonna go really hard and see how long this lasts for. So I'm gonna set the timer right now. Okay, so first drift of the day. never gets old. down the middle of the road and I'm gonna see how fast I get and measure it. Okay, so I've just stopped to check how many bars we've got. Um, okay, so we've got four bars. I'm not surprised, like it's, I was going hard, like full on donuts and everything, so. <laughs> know how I just did this I just 360 it off camera so I'm gonna try to do it on camera this time let's do it oh my 
So I've officially got three bars left and we're looking good. <laughs> oh my gosh, boys, we are now two bars. I've been drifting for so long now and the power has reduced so much. It can't even wheel spin on water now. Oh, oh, okay, so we're officially out of battery. I'm just gonna stop it with the handbrake here because it's completely shut off. Let's turn the actual thing off, just to be sure. And we're gonna have to roll this damn thing back. What? We're dead flat. So while I'm in my room, I might as well talk about the range and all that stuff. So the range wise, I got about two hours out of just flooring it and going crazy. Like just, you know, all that sort of stuff, craziness. Toughness wise, a little bit of rattling um, here and there, but like the thing is so tough. Like if it was any other GoPro I've ever owned, but that amount of power and all that sort of stuff, I'm pretty sure the wheels would have fallen off already. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next talking video. Peace.